This is interesting, guys. Look at this. 24.35 We're charging the cap with one wire. Hello viewers, Mezcal here. Excuse the spaghetti wiring. We're uh, just tinkering around trying to get some more efficiency. I noticed that I could use capacitors as like a storage to dump some power from the battery into the cap and then use the cap to run the motor. Uh, but then I thought, what about pulsing the cap? So I've got a reed switch down there next to the rotor that's pulsing these caps which are in parallel and then the motor's running off the capacitors. So here's the schematic. We've got there's two rotors on a common axis. There's the the last reed switch I've just added and that is switching the battery voltage into the two caps in parallel. Uh, we're also taking uh, feedback off the um, generator circuit and that's going back into the capacitors as well. And uh, yeah, let's have a look at uh, current draw. So this is off the battery. Looks like I'll need to use this fella. Nearly amps. Hang on, I'll just hook this up. So at 24 volts, we're drawing let's say 50 milliamps. There's a scope shot on the uh, bridge rectifier on the generator side. Don't forget that's been switched by read switch number two. So we've got uh, read switch number one is um, pulsing the coils. That's positioned about here on the second rotor. Um, read switch number two is breaking that whole circuit open. And read switch number three is pulsing the caps which feed the drive coils. Thanks for watching. Just so you see what kind of um, room we've got on the cap. If I disconnect that, you can hear we're still running. So the caps are running the motor. Interesting stuff. Come on guys, have a play.